As the seasons change, so do our responsibilities outside in the yard. A couple things remain constant, death, taxes, and if you own grass, you've got to keep mowing it. Now the nice thing is, with this lawnmower, as the leaves fall out of the trees, and an average size shade tree has about 250,000 leaves, you just mow them in place. I actually blow them out of my beds, or I rake them out, and I mow them over. As long as I can see even a little bit of green grass, then that's fine, that's a good depth for the leaves. They all become compost anyway. So keep mowing your grass, and for those who have struggled with some grubs in the past, keep applying crab shell over the surface. It's safe, it's organic. We've been doing this for, oh God, I can't even remember how long. And look at how nice and green this grass is without the use of some of those dangerous pesticides. In terms of the shrubs outside though, if they're yellow, let them mellow. Once they turn brown, it's safe to cut them down. Yellow mellow, brown down. Something like this hydrangea, I find this still gives me some good interest to it. Whenever I'm gonna trim a plant back, I always look at the potential for, can I bring this inside and make a bouquet out of it? The deal with hydrangeas are, once they turn brown or pink really, they're gonna turn brown inside. So you must trim them and cut them back before they start to turn their color. And of course, with all hydrangeas, put them in a dry vase, not a wet vase. This is a great time of year to take a look, make some assessments in your landscape, see what you like, what you don't like, what needs a little bit of pruning, and what needs replacing because we've still got some time outside, although it is waning and soon it'll be raining to do a little bit of planting. I'm Jim Solicito. Stop out and see me soon.